I'd heard stories about the Soul Cairn, but never thought I'd see it myself. So far... No. But there's no way she would have left it... She wanted to get it as far away from my father as possible. I can't imagine a better place. My ship? What happened to my ship? Must return to the front line, Alessia. Mother? It can't be. Serana? Is it really you? I can't believe it. How do we get inside? We have to talk. Serana, what are you doing here? Where's your father? He doesn't know we're here. I don't have time to explain. I must have failed. Harkon's found a way to decipher the prophecy, hasn't he? No, you've got it all wrong. We're here to stop him. To make everything right. Wait a minute. You've brought a stranger here? Have you lost your mind? No, you don't... You, come forward. I would speak with you. So how has it come to pass that a vampire hunter is in the company? It pains me to think you travel with Serana under the guise of her protector in an effort to hunt me down. I find your choice of words quite interesting, considering that Serana is in far more danger now. Serana has sacrificed everything to prevent Harkon from completing the prophecy. I would have expected her to explain that to you. You think I'd have the audacity to place my own daughter in that tomb for the protection of her Elder Scroll alone? The scrolls are merely a means to an end. The key to the tyranny of the sun is Serana herself. When I fled Castle Volcahar, I fled with two Elder Scrolls. The scroll I presume you found with Serana speaks of Ariel and his arcane weapon, Ariel's bow. The second scroll declares that the blood of Cold Harbor's daughter will blind the eye of the dragon. Like myself, Serrano was a human once. We were devout followers of Lord Molig Ball. Tradition dictates the females be offered to Molig Ball on his summoning day. Few survive the ordeal. Those that do emerge as a pure-blooded vampire. We call such confluences the Daughters of Cold Harbor. Now you're beginning to see why I wanted to protect Serana, and why I've kept the other Elder Scroll as far from her as possible. If Harkon obtained Ariel's bow, and Serana's blood was used to taint the weapon, the tyranny of the sun would be complete. In his eyes, She'd be dying for the good of all. And how exactly do you plan on stopping him? Have you been listening to me? Like Serana, I'm a pure-blooded vampire. You care nothing for Serana, or our plight. Whether or not you've become one of us in order to survive the Soul Care, you're still a vampire hunter at heart. You're here because we're abominations in your mind evil creatures that need to be. Serana, this stranger aligns himself with those that would hunt you down and slay you like an animal. Yet I should entrust you to him. This stranger has done more for me in the brief time I've known him than you've done in centuries. How dare you? I gave up everything I cared about to protect you from that fanatic you call a father. Yes, he's a fanatic. He's changed. But he's still my father. Why can't you understand how that makes me feel? If you'd only open your eyes, the moment your father discovers your role in the prophecy, that he needs your blood, you'll be in terrible danger. So to protect me, you decided to shut me away from everything I cared about. You never asked me if hiding me in that tomb was the best course of action. 
You just expected me to follow you blindly. Both of you were obsessed with your own paths. Your motivations might have been different, but in the end, you're still just a pawn to you two. I want us to be a family again. But I don't know if we can ever have that. Maybe we don't deserve that kind of happiness. Maybe it isn't for us. But we have to stop him before he goes too far. And to do that, we need the Elder Scroll. I'm sorry, Sarah. I didn't know. I didn't see. I've allowed my hatred of your father to estrange us for too long. Forgive me. If you want the Elder Scroll, it's yours. Your intentions are still somewhat unclear to me. But for Serana's sake, I'll assist you in any way that I can. Yes, I've kept it safely se Fortunately, you're in a position to breach the barrier that surrounds these ruins. You need to locate the tallest of the rocky spikes. At their bases, the barrier's energy is being drawn from unfortunate souls that have been exiled here. Destroy the keepers that are tending them, and it should bring the be- One more word of warning. There's a dragon that- The ideal masters have charged him with overseeing the keepers, and will undoubtedly intervene if you're perceived as a threat. As you've been traveling in the Soul Cairn, your body has become a tomb. Let's just say, a tiny part of you rubbed off on it. And in its place, a bit of the Soul Cairn filled the void. You should find no difficulty using the portal any longer. Let's kill those keepers. Don't have seen. to destroy all three keepers? Very impressive. Yes. Keep watch for Dernevere. With the prison's barrier down, he's almost certain to investigate.
forgive my astonishment, but I never th Volumes written on Dernavir allege that he can't be slain by normal means. Yes. The soul of a dragon is as resilient as its owner's scaly hide. It's possible that your killing blow has merely displaced Dernavir's physical form while he reconstitutes himself. Minutes, hours, years, I can't even... Now, let's get you the Elder Scroll and you can be on your way. Now that you've retrieved the Elder Scroll, you should be on your way. Let's take it to Dexian. If there's anything I can do before you depart, you must let me know. So my daughter applied some of the lessons I... Don't worry. I think I can help you. Your soul essence was trapped inside a gem. When you and Serana... You simply need to retrieve the gem. The moment you touch it, your... There's an offering altar not terribly far from here. I'm willing... Is there anything else? Could be your last chance. I have no choice. As I told you before, if I return to Tamriel, that increases Harkon's likelihood of bringing the tyranny as much as it pains me to send you and Serana. Remember that Harkon is not to be trusted. And promise me you'll keep my daughter safe. She's the only one. I can't believe we found my mother. Stay your weapons. I would speak with you, Quanarin. Cursed, not dead. Doomed to exist in this form for eternity. Trapped between Laas and Enoch. Between life and death. I believe in civility among seasoned warriors. My claws have rendered the flesh of innumerable foes. I therefore honor name you Quanarin. Your word, my desire to speak with you, I merely wish to respect. For countless years I've roamed the Soul Cairn in un Before this, I roamed the skies. I fear that my time here has taken its toll upon me. If I ventured far from the Soul Cairn, my strength would begin to... I will place my name with you, and grant you the right to call my name from ta Do me this simple honor, and I will fight at your side as your Graze Mazen, your ally, and... Trivial in your mind, perhaps. I don't require an answer, Quinarin. Simply speak my name to the heavens when you feel the t In my language, the Quinarin is the vanquisher. The one even in the soul carrier. The defeat of the world eater has reached my You may not be Dova, but the defeat of Alduin earns you the right of 